Getting stronger is a different style of training than getting bigger. So the first thing, this all comes back to like, you know, just my mental stuff. What is your goal? And if you can say my goal is to build muscle, now you have to start thinking about training disadvantages. How can I make this workout as inefficient as possible? How can I put my body in a certain position? How can I contract harder? How can I um, utilize tempos, etc.? So the workouts that, um, you know, we're gonna be doing today, I'll talk to you guys about the things that will make that thing happen. We're gonna start off on legs. So we're gonna do a group one with quads and then a group two doing um, hips. So we'll break that up. Um, I consider this one of the hardest workouts on the planet. And what makes it hard is because we're hitting all three muscle fibers in a very short period of time. This is one of those workouts where you get a huge uh, bang for your buck if you don't have a lot of time to train. So when I say six reps, I mean a six rep max. I mean you can't do a seventh rep. So we're gonna warm up accordingly so that your very first work set is literally a six rep max and then we go into 12 reps, and then we go into 25 reps. This is one of my favorite workouts, guys. So they're going through 6, 12, 25, giant set. We've got group A going through quads, and then group B going through hips. And uh, we're hitting different points of the strength curve with the different exercises, and we're basically blowing out every possible muscle fiber with one badass 43 rep set. This workout requires an enormous amount of concentration, focus, and a big set of balls. So um, if you left your balls in your purse, this one's not for you. All right, let's get warmed up. I'll give you guys about 10 minutes, 12 minutes max, so you guys can go through all the exercises and then start figuring out. Uh, get in at least, you know, whatever you need, two, three, four warm-up sets on the very first exercise. So the very first work set is pretty much a six rep max. Maddie, I want you to push against my hands. Good, good. So initiate push against my hands. That's it. So on the way down, I want you to think of your cheeks opening up. Yeah. That's your cue. So that's gonna allow your um, glutes to come into a position where you can get deeper naturally. This back leg is almost just like, if you were really good, you wouldn't even have to touch the ground. It would be almost like a one-legged squat almost. So all the knee flexion is here. This is kind of just back here a bit for balance. And then for the leg extensions, when we're doing a leg extension, we're looking for straight lines. So we want hips, knees, and ankles in alignment with each other. So we don't want to be externally rotated at the hips because now you've got this stress going through the knee at an angle that's not natural for the knee to handle because the knee's a hinge joint. A hinge joint only works in one direction. Okay, push your hips back. That's better. Good. Hips or hips are going back. Now hips are coming forward. Hips are going back. Hips are coming forward. So you're gonna go hands across your chest. And you're gonna come down. As you come down, you're gonna lengthen your legs. Lengthen your legs. Now keep going down. That's it, and come back up. And then bend your knees, that's it. And then our uh, last one are heels elevated dumbbell squats. So we're getting more knee flexion, which is gonna challenge more it's gonna actually put a little more emphasis on the quad too. I've known about Vince for like a long time. I was a big fan of his newsletter and then he started coming out more and more with uh, the YouTube. He really got into that. And so uh, I'd always have him as like a channel subscription. So uh, I'd be like, oh man, like I need like another exercise. And he'd always have something right there for me. All right, last chance. So you guys sure y'all wanna do this? When we start, we don't finish till we're done. All right, so we've got about, it's gonna take less than 40 minutes probably maybe 30 minutes of actual work, all right? So let's commit to four rounds of this. Three minutes rest, four second tempo on the first exercise, three seconds, sorry, negative on the second, and two second negative on the third. You guys are up, let's go. Good job. I want you to think about moving forward on the way down. Think about moving, yep, yeah, with a bigger stride. So come slide forward. 
Uh, there you go. So let your hip, that's it. Come up. There you go. Let him straighten out. Let him straighten out. That's it. Now, down. There oh you go. <laughs> okay? So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do um, back extension to glute ham raises for you. So come all the way to the bottom. Let's start at the bottom for you. Start at the bottom. Straighten out your legs. You're going to come up. Up, 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 up. Bend, 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 bend. One. Okay. Down, 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 down. Let's go. Two. Before you start, I want you to shove your ass down. Pause for a second. See how your knees are outside of your hips? Bring your hips, that's better. I want straight lines, hips, knees, ankles. Now up, there you go, good. Ass down and then contract. I want this a continual motion, so no pause at the top. Let's, that's it, lactic acid we're going after here, good. More stretch at the back, that's better. Stretch at the bottom. Hips down before you go. Don't let that ass come up. Hips down. Good, awesome. Your knees right now are outside of your hips. Bring your knees a little closer together. Good, Pop. then the hips down. Keep your hips down. Contract hard, 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 hard. That's better. No pause at the top or the bottom. This is continuous. You don't get a rest back here. Right here, back forward. Stretch, stretch. Even my parents were like, Caleb, you're just, you're just gonna be a little guy. Like that's just the hand you were dealt. And I was like, no, no, I will not accept this. So really for me in the next couple of years is like getting a lot, uh, I wanna gain at least like 15 pounds and uh, start thinking about like actually seriously competing on stage. That's it. It's all coming from here. Contract hard. Good. I just wanna help you with those lunges. So when you're down, your, your load is over top that glute. Your trunk is over top that glute. Push the floor away. Nice. Floor away. Good. So how would we program this workout? It's very simple. I would focus on quality versus quantity. So for a beginner, we do this for two rounds in week one, and then we go to three rounds in week two, and then we go to four rounds in week three, and then on the fourth week, we go back to two rounds, but we increase our loads. It's as simple as that, guys. So we focus on quality, not quantity. Ass to the wall, and let your shoulders come over top the dumbbells on the way down. There you go. Because I started off not being able to gain weight and muscle, so till this day I can lose fat, but I can't gain muscle. So each year to struggle just to gain a few pounds of muscle. If you're not feeling it contract, you're not doing any work. That's better. This guy's a hard worker. Good. So John, for your next set, chin down. I want you to keep your chin, you're doing this, you're doing this thing as well. Keep your chin neutral. Okay? Lunges. Stand up through the front leg. Don't push off with your back leg. This back leg isn't helping you stand up. It's all the front leg. Front leg. Front leg. 6, 12, 25 is really intense, really fast pace. Uh, you really push this hard. I noticed there was a few things I was doing, like with my neck, so kind of corrected a few um, position errors and learned a lot. It was a pretty, uh, pretty good workout. John, smile. It makes it easier. Don't swing. Use your hamstrings. Finish that, finish that right there. <laughs> come on, come on. You got another three inches. That's where you finish. Relax up here, relax all this. Relax, relax. Work from here. That's it. <gasps> Don't kick it, contract it up. Early indications, looks like it's gonna be a long day for these fellas. Okay, don't stand up. Think about your hips moving forward, hips back. Come on, you're missing all the good stuff up here, Matt. Come on, you're missing all the good stuff. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Come on, this is gonna make you really good at your deadlift. Oh, hey, Caleb, for next time, use these guys and go much narrower. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. Keep, go narrower. That way you can just focus on, keep the, you're not thinking about the traps and you're doing like a side raising, you know, ladder raises the entire time. On these kind of workouts, you know, if you need to sit down for the rest period, I'm fine with that. Just keep driving those feet down. Well done. Let's go, let's get him. Nice. 
When I was doing stunts, I wanted to get a bigger body, so I said, why not start lifting? And um, I started looking on YouTube as to, like, what do I do? What do I eat? I already knew how to lift, but I wanted it to be, like, serious because I had to do it a short amount of time. And one of the first persons that I found was Vince. And I follow Vince because he's a very scientific and technical guy. I mean, everyone's there is you know, commenting on his videos that this doesn't work, that doesn't work, but really a lot of the things that he's saying, you hear it repeated throughout a lot of bodybuilders that I've worked out with, so Vince is really, really precise with his info. Stand up on your front leg, front leg. Yeah, challenge that knee flexion. There you go. Show me some knee bend in the front leg. I want to see knee bend on, that's better. Now contract first with the quad. Okay, hands at your side. Neck is neutral. Push your hips back. These don't change position. The only thing changing is your hip position. Come down. These things just follow the path of your hips. We got four rounds today. Any monkey can do three rounds. We come to the gym to bust our ass on the fourth round. This is the round that makes the difference. All right, so I want you guys to put everything into this last round. Drive your feet down. There you go. Grip that bar hard. It's coming out of your hand. Grip that bar. That's it. You guys watching each other? All right, six great reps, man. Contract hard. Best six reps coming up here. Beautiful. Yeah, you stay with them. Give me six, don't give up on me. Well done. I actually have a WFF Pro as well, so Vince is actually one of the first people who actually inspired me to start working out and sort of push myself to the next limit, not just going to the gym, but actually seeing what I'm capable of doing, um, eventually hitting the stage, and luckily it turned out for the best. Good job. <laughs> Let's get the job done, man. Right into it, no delay. These aren't breaks in between. Okay, more quad contraction. Think like a bodybuilder, not like a football player. We're focusing on contracting the muscle. That's better. Make those muscles work. You're in control of how hard you make it. Come on, give me another inch at the top. Use those quads, contract hard. You got another inch, bro. You want those legs to grow, you gotta work for it. That's it, don't kick it. Contract it up. Contract it. It all starts here. That's it. Hard, hard. Make those quads hard. Rock solid. Come on, man. Don't let that fall back. Control it. All right, guys. Everybody done? Okay. One down, two to go. Uh, come on over here, guys. Just uh, let's wrap her up. I'd like to hear um, 10 things you guys learn from this workout. We'll go around. The table here, 10 things you guys learn, just knock them off one at a time. Glute ham raises suck. Okay, that's one, glute ham raises suck. There's a difference between squats when you're just bending at the knees and when you're holding that hip action back. Totally different feeling and uh, it's a good way to hit different angles, different variations. Thank you, good. Two, number three. For me, it was the front neck, back of my head. Keeping the neck neutral, keep yeah. neck neutral for everything. Better nerve drive to the rest of the broad body. I like to, not including really your warm sets as part of like your actual workout, getting them done, then doing your working sets. Start okay. to max right away. Absolutely. So not doing four sets where your first two are build up and then right. two heavy working ones. Yes. Two build ups and do like we did. A work, that's a great, work great point. A work set is a work set, right? It's all about quality, right? And that's a problem with a lot of bodybuilding programs. They have so many sets, it just trains you to become um, basically trains you to do everything slow. Yeah, or it forces you, you to how pace many yourself. Sets, how many warm ups? So people do one or two warm ups, then try hard for two. Yeah. So distinguish your warm up sets from your work sets. Good. Go through everything nice and slowly in bodybuilding. Put power in there, like a power lift there. Great. Bodybuilding. Especially, like, on the positives. Especially on the what? On the positives. On the positives, too, even focusing on contracting hard. Good. Seven. Uh, um, I mean, 
common that you must always engage your muscles in any exercise, but even when you learn something new, like the hip stuff, you still have to use that mind muscle connection too. Right. Don't forget, don't like over there, swinging, drive your quads through, it really activates it. Right. So you really focus on initiating from the working muscle. Good. Number eight. The importance of focusing on the tempo and uh, tension. So tempo helps you build more tension? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Good. Number nine. Number ten. Uh, I would say actually focusing on the muscle contraction rather than just doing the exercise or like banging out the reps. Like right. With, if you're doing like the like elevated squats or whatever, it's easy to do the squat, but then you're doing the squat while you're focusing on maintaining like tension all the way through that. Right. So create di cr training disadvantages, making it harder. Yeah. So we're training like bodybuilders here today. We're not training like football players. Football players are concerned with getting the weight from point A to point B. We're concerned about contracting against resistance. Make sense? Yes. All right, good stuff. Let's get some food, let's get some uh, hydration and uh, we'll do some Q&A and we'll see you guys back for workout two very soon. It gets him to stop thinking about the thing in his hand and it gets him to think about the function of the bicep, which is the flex at the elbow joint. Down the elevator. Beautiful. 50 seconds of that. Gonna kill you.